Oh my, hello everybody, and welcome to this video. Um, I, I look disheveled. I just woke up. I've had a cup of coffee. I open my computer and see this video from Bookish, and his video starts off with, every once in a while, the YouTube algorithm serves me up um, some perfect rage bait, and guess what happened? The same effing thing to me right now. Um, so this is going to be me going off on some shit and kind of from a different take, but it's a take that if you know this channel, you've heard a million freaking times. So first off, I don't, I, I can't remember if the other dude's video had the same title, um, which is, do we need more male writers? Okay, dude, I feel all discombobulated right now. Here's, here's the, here's the fucking rub okay this guy his name is cleverly echo chamberlain which cute pun but like <laughs> that, that this is the only thing i know from this goddamn uh creator on youtube who has way too many subs to be spouting off shit like this okay and that just makes me sad it just makes me sad that there are so many sad, weak, white men who don't know how to fucking, like, traverse society. That they need to hear shit like this to make them feel better about themselves. It's fucking laughable. Terrifyingly sad. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Bookish completely eviscerates this dude. So I'm gonna leave a link to his video down below and i'll even leave a link or something to um sad boy snowflake i can't remember i already i just said his name was clever echo chamberlain jesus fucking christ dude this is a topic that comes up not because i want it to come up but because people come to me with certain shit and like they're trying to get help they're trying to figure shit out and they come to me talking to me about this kind of shit and like are just like really like astonished with how society is right now and how difficult it is for them and it's mainly because people like this fucking douchebag fucking like go oh poor like white writer dude like it's okay you're not alone you know it's it's not anything other than the world going crazy. And that's why you can't get your fucking book sold. Okay? Which, on its face, is fucking stupid as shit. I'm gonna fucking throw something out there at you. Okay? Here, here we go. Why the fuck do you think that you are so fucking privileged... That in the fucking future world of self-publishing and people getting fucking rich self-publishing books, that you need somebody to put your book out for you. Who the fuck are you? Okay? And we're going to talk a little bit about this in, in some more granular detail because I'm going to make some assumptions here. Okay? My first assumption is going to be, and this is something we've talked about before, publishers, the publishing industry is not as strong as it used to be, okay? And we'll talk about book prices and shit in a little bit, but the publishing industry is not as strong as it used to be, okay? So the publishers need a lot of help when they put something out, okay? And a lot of people bitch about how, oh, as long as you have a bunch of Instagram followers and people on TikTok, a publisher will put your book out. That's a bunch of bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. It's not that it's bullshit. It's that this person has an audience. This person can help sell fucking books. We are a business. We need to fucking sell books. Let's put this out. I have a theory here, okay? And I'm going to throw this out here. I feel like men have stupider social media accounts than women. Shocker. 
Why do you say that? Because men, especially white men, think that everyone on the planet needs to hear every word that comes out of their mouth at all times of the day. And usually it's them telling other people how to be, how to live, what they should think, what they should do. Because for some fucking reason, white middle-aged fucks think that they know fucking everything. As you're watching a video of me telling you what's what. <laughs> okay, so check this out. I feel like women have a more, like they're more concerned about not wanting to offend most of the people that come and look at their shit. And women seem to have a better grasp at presenting themselves in a positive way on social fucking media. Okay? Now, this could be totally pulled out of my ass and have no basis in truth. But for those of you who like to, like, check into this shit and do the detective work, take a look at it. Because I'm pretty sure that that's what you're going to find. So, publishers typically are going to want to publish people, new people, who have a good social media interaction, whatever, okay? They're probably not going to want to, like, want the what do you call it, the trouble of some mouthy douchebag who runs his liquor every time he fucking sees that, like, I don't know, like, oh, this show's gonna have a a lead that is this race and this gender. We should fucking be upset about this for some reason! Who fucking cares? Oh, my fucking God. So that's, that's the first thing. The second thing, and I've heard this come up, from many different people, okay? And they're all fucking white dudes, okay? It comes up that, like, you know, we're just in this time where all these great novels are being written and no one's going to know about them. Put your fucking book out if it's that good. Build an audience. If you have an audience, publishers are more likely to put your shit out. Do you only have one good book in you? Then maybe you should fucking get a job at McDonald's. That way you could go to work every day. If you only have one book in you, what's the fucking point? Write more books, write good books, and put your books out. Build a fucking audience. If you're as good as you say you are, all of you white dudes that fucking just can't seem to catch a break because publishers and book prizes are only for women now, fucking do something. Prove them wrong by writing a good book and building a fucking audience. Like, people fucking say, now, yeah, okay, dude, I don't, okay. Oh my God, I'm getting fucking mad now. People fucking tell me a lot when I talk to people like this that a a straight white male cannot make a living as a writer. And they're telling this to me, okay? They're, They're saying this to me, like I'm gonna fucking go, yeah, man. You're fucking right, shit. I'm fucking doing it, and you come to me and fucking tell me that it can't fucking happen? And when I point this out, they say stuff like, oh, well, you're different. Why? Because I'm not fucking bitching about it? Do better! Who the fuck do you think you are that, like, the entire publishing industry needs to change everything they do so you feel better about yourself. Just write a fucking good book and sell it. Then I had a um, a consultation call yesterday with someone who wanted to talk about doing a book launch and like how to put it together and all this other stuff. And I'm like, cool. So we get on the call and then I find out that this dude's book is published by a publisher. And it's out in stores now. And I'm like, not trying to be a dick, but why the fuck are you talking to me right now? And he's like, well, because the publisher's not doing anything. And I'm like, are they supposed to do something? And he's like, well, in the contract it says they are, but they haven't done anything. And I just, I guess I would feel better if I just started doing stuff on my own. Just so I know stuff's getting done. I am sick to fucking death of all of these people thinking that you need to be with a publisher in order to be successful, even though we all know you're not gonna make any money on that. The idea of prestige 
publishing, like I'm not getting paid, but I'm getting prestige. This whole thing is so fucking stupid. And what it does is that it teaches writers, it teaches artists, it teaches musicians, it, and it goes through all different kinds of mediums. It teaches the people creating the work that you need to just be happy that anyone gives a shit while I make all the money off of your work. Fuck those people. Fuck those ideas. The only reason why somebody says to you, oh, well, there's no money in that. Oh, uh, yeah, like, it's almost impossible to make a living doing that. Is because the people who actually make money on those things are not the people creating the art. It's the people selling the art. Whether it's books, whether it's fucking music, whether it's fucking art, whether it's fucking anything. As you noticed, you have a television, and on that television, it shows shows. You have something to play music on, whether it's Spotify or whatever. And on that app, there are music. there's music coming out of it all the fucking time. If you go on Amazon or go into a bookstore, there will be rows and rows and rows of books with pages with words printed on them that had to be put there by somebody, okay? But the people making all the money on this shit are the fucking companies, okay? I was talking to a guy the other night. He was actually my Uber driver. And we were talking about how he's trying to get this one movie made and he does Uber to try to survive while he's waiting to get his movie made. That... um since the invention of the iPhone and all this other shit, there is no middle class in filmmaking anymore. It's like you either are at a big studio or you are at the very bottom of the barrel. There's no mid-level distributors anymore. Like, they keep getting, like, bought up and swallowed up. There's, there's like, there's nowhere for anybody to do anything unless you're doing it yourself. Or you could be like this fucking guy who's waiting and waiting and waiting for some big publisher to discover his book and tell him that he's good and pat him on the back and give him a handy. Okay? You don't need any of that shit. Instead of bitching that no one's loving you, fucking make people love you by seeing your work and build your fucking audience. You don't need traditional publishing. You do not need book prizes. They're great if you win them. Fantastic. Okay? It's just, it's, ugh, I'm just so fucking tired. And you know what, dude? Let me fucking say this. And, like, honestly, there's still tons of white dudes putting books out with fucking publishers. I just had a fucking meeting with one yesterday. Okay? So, like, I don't know. I want to say just write your book and put it out. But, like, honestly... Maybe the world's better off not hearing what you have to say and just sit over there and complain and bitch because it's so hard being a white male in 2020 fucking four. Good Lord. How did you even get out of bed this morning? Ugh. I mean, I think all the white guys should just like, if you, if you live in a building that's higher than three fours, just take a header out the window. Like, because nothing's ever going to get better for you. It's just going to get worse. It's, ugh. The days of Brett Easton Ellis are way gone, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot, dude. Oh, shit. I don't know. I think I had other points to make, but I was just so pissed off. I just wanted to get this. And I've been trying to edit this fucking vlog for like a week now. And I had it almost done last night. And then my fucking... Um, iMovie crashed, so I'm just like, I don't even want to open the file, because if it's gone, or if I have to start over, I'm going to, like, cry and just ditch the whole thing. But anyway, um, I just wanted to post this thing today, because that was fucking shocking. Like, scared, fragile white men never cease to amaze me. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I just fucking can't today, guys. I can't. <sighs> just write better books, guys. And fucking build an audience. I mean, this motherfucker, I don't know if he's a writer. Like, I don't even know if he fucking reads. But it's like, the dude's got like 50,000 fucking subs. Like, 
you could probably shit in a box and fucking sell that on Etsy and make more money than you're making on YouTube. Like, you, you got the pull, okay? Jesus fucking Christ. Type hard, everybody. Join the Anarchy Crew. Oh, yeah, keep buying my fucking books. Now I'll talk to you later. But I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.